Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. Um, today I am doing a video about how I found genetic counseling and a little bit about why I want to be a genetic counselor. Um, because my channel is going to be a lot of grad school videos where I'm going to grad school for genetic counseling so I thought I'd just give a little intro about everything and also just to kind of show we you know what I did to get here. Basically just a summary of the past three years of my life in regards to genetic counseling. Um, and so yeah, let's just get into it I guess. And so I went to college with the idea that I would do something in biology, ideally genetics, but I wasn't really sure what I would do. I was a little worried I would end up going to med school just because I didn't know what else to do and I I was already pretty sure that I did not want to do research or like lab work or anything like that. And so the summer after my freshman year of college, I was Googling careers like crazy because I need a plan. I'm someone who I need a plan. I need to lay it all out. I need to know kind of what I'm doing. And so I was just like Googling things and I liked, you know, genetics, obviously, but I also liked psychology. I took AP Psych in high school. I liked helping people. I love patients. I wanted to get that kind of patient experience. Loved the diagnostic part of the whole medicine. And so I was kind of trying to figure out how to fit all these things together. I also liked teaching. I briefly wanted to be a teacher. I thought about being a teacher, biology teacher maybe, but yeah. Um, and so I don't really remember what I was searching but I found genetic counseling as I was Googling and I started looking into it. I went on that NSGC website. I watched a session or two. I just like kind of was like, what is this? And as I looked more and more into it, I just remember being like, this is it. This is like, this is what I want to do. This is perfect. This is exactly it. It just looked up a ton of information. I was just like genetic counselors, genetic counseling. And found all these like websites and things and just kind of dove into it and so in my mind that's kind of like okay I think I can do this I would like to do this and I I went to my annual ophthalmology appointment like a couple weeks after a couple weeks or a couple months after I originally found out about genetic counseling and my ophthalmologist who's been following me for many years now was you know asking me oh like what are you thinking of doing what are you majoring in and I was like I I think I want to be a genetic counselor and he had the most positive reaction he was like oh my god that's great genetic counselors are awesome like we have our own genetic counselors in ophthalmology and then he was like you should do an internship with us next summer like here with our genetic counselors and I was like okay that would be amazing um, and so my sophomore year then, I kind of put a lot of the genetic counseling experiences on hold because I was taking organic chemistry and that took up all of my time. But I, I was more focused on getting the academics done. So I like looked up all the prereqs for the programs. I started looking up all the program pages, seeing what was out there. I wrote down all the prereqs, making sure I had time to fit all the prereqs into my schedule and setting up the internship. And I had no idea how rare genetic counseling internships were at the time because like when I first even when I first even heard of genetic counseling, I was just handed this internship. And so the summer after my sophomore year is when I did this internship and it was 300 hours, about half the time in clinic, half the time doing administrative stuff. And it was just amazing. It was so incredible. I had, I really, I loved it. And that was the first time I had ever shadowed a genetic counselor. The first time I had ever spoken to a genetic counselor was through that. And I, I at first was a little afraid that I wouldn't like the career after doing it for like a whole summer, but I loved it. And that's what really, really, really solidified to me that, you know, this is what I want to do. And so that summer I started researching everything imaginable about genetic counseling. And so I got a list. I started looking into like, oh, I need these experiences. I need these experiences and this and this and this. Although to be honest, for the most part, I was just focused on my internship, which was 
amazing and it was so fun to learn about genetics and I just loved it so much it's like yeah I can't this is this is this is what I have to do <laughs> like <laughs> there's no question about this um and so my junior year junior year of fall was when I did a lot of my preparation work and grunt work I started doing so many informational interviews with genetic counselors I did a lot of them um and it was, that was so fun. It was so fun to go out, grab a cup of coffee, and just like talk to genetic counselors. And I've always been someone who's been really shy and it's a little bit awkward talking to people. But like, as these conversations went on, I just got so comfortable. And soon it was just like, it was so fun to do. It wasn't really nerve wracking at all. I love doing it. I love talking to genetic counselors and everything. And by the last one that I did, we were just like, we ended up just talking about our weekend and our lives and our plans and stuff. So it was really great. Um, yeah, so in the fall, that's what I did. And in the fall, I reached out to the program, Buse program that I'm at now about, you know, I was like, hey, <laughs> hi, do you have any recommendations for what I should do? <laughs> because I, I'm bold on email. I can't ask people things in person, but like on an email, I'll ask anyone anything. And they offered to let me sit in on their seminar a couple times. And so that's why I did fall of my junior year. And that gave me a really good insight into what a program is kind of like. And I saw how close the core, the cohorts were and how the seminar went. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'll like school too. Like it was just another part of it but that was just such an awesome experience and i got to get a lot of more case presentations that way and a couple of journal clubs and a couple of guest presentations and that was really that was an awesome experience um and it was just really nice of them <laughs> to let me do that before i was like ever applying and then i went to a couple more events i went to like dana farber genetic cancer career day and i got a shadowing day and out of that which was awesome and I kept doing some more things and I signed up to do the crisis text line to get some crisis counseling experience and I was looking into advocacy experience this was all my junior year and I was finishing up prereqs for schools the summer between my junior and senior year I started doing advocacy doing it this it was called acing autism it's a tennis camp for children with autism, like teaching them how to play tennis, play games, and some social skills. It was really, really fun. I really enjoyed it. I didn't do it for very long. I did do it over the summer and then a little bit in the fall, but it was, it was really cool to see and it was really fun to participate in. And I definitely got something out of it and I wrote about it in my personal statement. Um, and so that summer I, I also, took the GRE. So yeah, that's what I spent my summer doing, just getting some more. I did a couple more informational interviews too. Just like racking up the experiences. Oh, I also did um, the University of Michigan Summer Interest Group and that was really fun. That was, that was really fun. That was the first time I really got to be in a group of people that all wanted to do genetic counseling and like talk to them about it. And talk about genetic counseling um and i did the boise state mentorship program and so my mentor was so helpful she was wonderful she helped me with my cv she helped me with my personal statements everything like that it was great um so i got a lot of experiences like honestly like january 2019 to august 2019 and then my senior year started and I did one more informational interview, but I was mostly doing applications at that point. And so I did a lot of applications. I applied to nine schools and it was a lot. Luckily my classes weren't too bad, but it was, applications were a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you know, interviews happened, match day happened, all of that. And now I'm here in school and it's so, surreal it doesn't feel real it still doesn't feel real um but yes and so that's my journey and some of my experiences i probably forgot some basically like any time there's an opportunity that was 
involved in genetic counseling, I did it. <laughs> I just, I fell in love with genetic counseling because I love genetics at the basis, base of it all. Genetics just makes sense to me and as soon as I started learning about it, it was just so interesting and it just made sense. And I wanted to know all of the genes and the conditions and that kind of goes in with the diagnostics. I love diagnostics of things and being able to be like, oh, here are the symptoms, here's what it could be, here's what it is. That's like my favorite part of medicine. Probably a lot of people's. <laughs> um, besides helping people, of course. Now, I do, I do want to help people and be able to support them. I thought about being like a psychologist or a psychiatrist or something. Um, and so it just kind of, all of my interests come together with genetic counseling and that's definitely for pretty much everyone who does genetic counseling but i also just every experience i had related to it i loved like it was never really focused on me checking a box off like it was when i signed up but then i would do these things and i was like this is amazing this is incredible Again, like I'm pretty, pretty shy, but with genetic counseling, I really put myself out there. And at first it was so hard to like ask for, for informational interviews, ask for things. But like I said, on email, I'll do anything. And then, <laughs> but then like meeting up with the genetic counselors and I just felt so comfortable and just like talking about anything. And I always be so worried that I wouldn't have questions to ask during informational interviews or like things would be awkward, but conversation always flowed and I always came up with things to ask as it went on and it just it was great it felt like you know, I fit in and I was able to be less shy about it and I went out and I talked to a lot of people which is not something anyone would think I would do but yeah so just all of it together is so exciting and is definitely what I want I love genetic counseling, in case you couldn't tell, and I'm so excited to be a genetic counselor in a couple of years. So this has been my journey to a genetic counseling grad school, at least. Uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see the rest of my journey to being a genetic counselor, aka grad school, and yeah, have a great day. Hi friends, um, this is me editing this video a couple of days later and I just wanted to say that the spring of my junior year I found and joined the Genetic Counseling Discord which I will link down below and that was an amazing resource for like experiences, advocacy, personal statement exchanges in the fall, just like a support group, people to finally talk to about genetic counseling and so i would highly recommend you join it it can be a little stressful sometimes around interviews and match day but for the most part it's a super supportive environment and there are so many resources it's incredible so yeah i forgot to mention that in the video but definitely a big resource that i used so 